Hello guys, um, welcome to another VIP video. Uh, this time I did a little bit more work on the menu and I decided to just give a brief look uh, into how I set this menu up. So it's uh, currently looking like this and at first glimpse it's gonna look a little bit messy but uh, if we just expand this a little bit you can see that it consists of a bunch of uh, panels or something so we can for example take the uh, graphics menu and we can move that to the side like this and then we can see what is available on the controls uh, the graphics menu so it's pretty easy once you just get a hang of this to set things up i haven't done much with uh, umg and i suppose that is quite a bit easier but uh, it's not that much more uh, difficult, I would say. Uh, most of the uh, all the main pattern of this is just setting up a, um, a reaction or an action to uh, whatever um, the sender is giving me for buttons and for sliders, and then just implement whatever you need to do here. Bad example, so it's hard coded, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to that eventually. Um, but yeah, well, generally it's it's pretty easy. It's just very simple things I do here. Um, so as it is right now, um, we can do a few more things. I'm just gonna stand up and not talk talk too much.
Okay, uh, as you saw, the, I actually ran into a bug there uh, with the field of view limiter when I go up on the platform. For some reason, it doesn't really pick up the movement uh, there, so it's something I need to f have a look at. Uh, but hopefully, you could see also see how the, um, the super sampling was working. Uh, it's when you're wearing the headset, it, it makes quite a big difference uh, to the quality and the sharpness of things. Um, and I'm using the deferred renderer at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna switch eventually to uh, the forward renderer. Uh, and have a look at how it it looks in um, but anyway um, I just wanted to show this because uh, it should give me a little bit idea about how I set up the menu system and it, as you can see it's, it's using um, child child uh, access heavily um, and text render controls uh, quite extensively and then the rest of the stuff is basically just uh, the controls that I already have and then a bunch of um, helper functions like this toggle um, button menu state but all of this stuff is pretty um, modular and simple to use so it's fairly easy to add in, in new uh, options uh, right so that is kind of all I had for this video um, I think hmm. yes uh, oh yeah and things are getting saved now also um, so the settings are left off with 200 and, and so on all these settings here whatever I set them to are gonna get saved so in between sessions so if I use trackpad left like whoops like this okay I should have exited it um, if I use uh, this for example and close the menu once I enter again it's gonna be starting like that again um, so pretty neat um, right so um, I guess that's it for this video uh, let me know if you have any questions or something you want to have a breakdown of I'm gonna see if I can fit in a breakdown session uh, one of these days uh, but as I did write on a comment in the previous video, I'm kind of lacking time right now, so I'm not going to be able to fit in a full series of um, tutorial on how I did all of the things. But um, I'm going to see if I can fit in, um, uh, make time for a breakdown video of some kind. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video. Bye.